Hi, I'm Dr. Roosevelt, a board-certified neurologist, clinical neurophysiologist, and epileptologist. We are showing you an unprecedented process of viewing and assessing brain waves in real time and speaking with both the person that brain waves are being assessed and the technician that placed the electrode cap. We can do this after head trauma and assess after concussions objectively in real time. Prior to this, we have no way objectively to assess what is going on with the brain after head trauma. The electrocap has been placed. We can now send these brain waves remotely and they can be viewed anywhere in the world on any type of handheld or computer device. Now I'm about to step out and it will be several hundreds of feet away so that we can demonstrate how you can be anywhere in the world and view these brain waves and assessing to see if I see any abnormalities in real time. Now we are in a remote location and we are viewing the patient or the subject remotely and I am talking to the technician and the person that is having the brain waves assessed at, in real time. Okay, here are the brain waves, which we can minimize and look at everything that we need to look at. Now we're going to minimize, and I can still see the person obtaining the brain waves very clearly, and if need be, they can see me. Okay, could you please have her close her eyes? Will you close your eyes for me, please? Now I'm looking at reactivity of the brain to the eye closure, which very often after a concussion, we will see changes that suggest that the brain has been stunned. Could you have her open her eyes? Will you open your eyes for me, please? Ma'am, now seeing changes in the brain wave that if there were abnormalities, I could see at this time. Now I want to see just not only her brain waves, but how well she is reacting to command. Could you have her hold up two fingers? Will you hold up two fingers, please? Thank you. Could you have her repeat no if, ands, or buts? Repeat this after me, no if, ands, or buts. No if, ands, or buts. So this is in real time. Also, we have an EKG lead here where we're looking at the patient's heart rate. So if there's an arrhythmia that is contributing to any type of mental status change that has just occurred, we can also see that in real time. I'm so excited that you have seen this unprecedented technology where we can assess brain waves in real time in any area of the world or United States, and that we can assess objective data on a player's brain function. I have worked over three years to perfect this system to monitor the brain waves remotely in real time. We can also save this data and we can also upload the data in real time to the cloud for later viewing. 